It's Monday. I'm so happy. I'm also a little astonished because I just learned that bananas are technically a berry. Raise your hand if you knew that. I had no idea, but I guess it makes sense. They have little seeds, right? Anyways, the song we are doing tomorrow is going to be in the tuning open D. And I've done a video on that before, but that was a long time ago, and I think I gave open C a much better explanation. So we're going to do that with open D, and then tomorrow we'll do the song, George Pablo. <laughs> Anyways, you know what that means. Take it away, Miss Poopadoop. Okay. Remember from when we did open C that open anything means the notes required to make that chord. So for open C, it was C, E, and G, because those are the notes of a C chord. For open D, we have to figure out what the notes for a D chord are. There's three of them. There's three notes for every single regular, major, and minor chord, unless you add fancy numbers or susses or augmenteds in there or something. So let's figure out the D major scale first. Starts with a D, of course, and then we're going to go up a whole step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, a half step. That is the formula for every single major scale. So memorize whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or when would hamsters wield weapons with horses? Cue visual. I'm sure that's not at all helpful, but it's a funny drawing. Anyways, a whole step higher than D because we pass through D sharp on the way, whole step being two notes higher, half step being one note higher, is E. A whole step, a whole step higher than E is not F because F sh uh, E sharp does not exist. So we go half step to F and then whole step to F sharp. A half step higher than F sharp, of course, is G. A whole step higher than G is A, because we pass through G sharp on the way to A. A whole step higher than A is B. A whole step higher than B is C sharp, because there's no such thing as B sharp. And a half step higher than C sharp is D. That's how we know we did it right. It's just like checking your work backwards in, in math class in fourth grade or whatever. Uh, yeah, so the notes of the D chord are the first note, the third note, and the fifth note, D, F sharp, and A, back to you, Ryan. My very own kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Alright, so I have my guitar tuned regularly, well not tuned regularly, but out of tune from regular tuning because I haven't been here in two days. Anyways, E is going to go down to D. A is going to stay the same. Because remember, D, A, and F sharp. D is going to stay the same. G is going to go down one half step to F sharp. B is going to go down one whole step, two notes, to A. And E is going to go down just like the other E did, two notes. To D. Now I'm playing a strat with a floating bridge, which is going to be not the case pretty soon. I think this is going to go to the guitar hospital and get a new bridge. But at any rate, if you're playing a strat with a floating bridge, you'll need to tune again. And now you have a big, lovely, wonderful open D chord. And you can play the song we're playing tomorrow and also uh, nothing as it seems, right? That was a big surprise to learn this one was in open D for me, but surely it is. All right, uh, George Pablo, stay tuned, or Jorge Pablo, and uh, Seth too for tomorrow because we're doing a song that you both requested a long time ago, and it's going to be really fun. And now that you know how to be in open D for this one or for any other song that uses open D, now we can 
now I can do it. So thanks for me and for Miss Poopadoop, and thanks to you. Thank you for watching, and bring on the requests, and we'll get through them eventually someday. I promise. I'm good for it. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.